YouTube. This is Felicia with Bible Scraps. And yeah, you guys, I didn't know that there is a right way of using disinfectant, which we probably all have in our homes, um, in the classroom, in the office, in the car, right? But there is a right way of using these wipes. I tell you, it pays to read the instructions, right? <laughs> And there's also a wrong way of I'm using this these video wipes. because I am going to break this video up into two videos because it ended up being longer than I um, intended. I got really into it. It's some good information, you guys, in the video. So this video is all about reading the labels and talking about the do's and the don'ts. And I will do a comparison of these four popular wipes but in the other video that video i am testing the wipes out i'm also comparing the wipes and in that video we will actually sanitize and disinfect a a um a so surface, you would want to right? watch both videos because they're very informative i think a lot of us have been using these wipes the wrong way so if you're interested in the other video um i will have a thumbnail at the end of this video and you can click on it and i'll also have the link to this video in my description box so we are going to talk about the do's and the don'ts of using disinfectant wipes in this video i'm also going to do a simple compare and contrast of four popular brands of disinfectant wipes, which you see here. We are also going to do a experiment per se, or test out these wipes, right? I know I learned by doing, so I'm actually going to grab now, some items. We are not only going to deodorize or clean with these wipes, but we are also going to disinfect because I learned that there's two ways of using these wipes. Uh-huh. Okay, so you see started. these four different brands of wipes, all in different scents. You have Sam's Club here, which is Members Mark in the orange scent, Clorox in the lemon scent, and Lysol in Ocean Fresh scent. And then you have Costco Kirkland's brand in the fresh air scent and there's other scents available as well okay so looking at the face of the packaging i could see that this one and this one and this one they all state that they kill 99.9 percent .9 of viruses and bacteria kirkland brand does too it just states it right here so these all kill the cold and the flu common um, viruses, allergens, and bacteria that's known today. These wipes, they pretty much all work in the same way. Now, let's turn it over because I, I'm learning, you guys, to read instructions, even when it comes to things that seem self-explanatory. <laughs> so, hopefully, in this video, you guys will learn something that you can pass already on. taken some notes because some well it's a lot to read right and we will let's see i'm probably going to read costco's instructions in its entirety because the font is bigger but these once again pretty much all work alike the two ways that you can use these wipes you can use these wipes to sanitize and deodorize or and you can use them to disinfect. That's important to understand because that's one way I was using these wipes the wrong way. You know, let's go ahead and, well, before we read the instructions, let's quickly, let's see here. Sam's Club brand states it will kill bacteria in 15 seconds. And you notice that it's written in a larger font, right? Um, which is, to me, kind of misleading. <laughs> and Clorox states that it will kill, let's see, where is it? It kills in 10 seconds. 
10 seconds. Okay, and that's in a larger font as well compared to the directions for use down here. So to me, that's kind of misleading. Okay, and Lysol. Now I have to say, these three are brand spanking new, like they're current um, products. But my Lysol, I didn't even know I had it. It was in my cabinet. I don't know how old it is. So what state, what stated here might be different from um, current uh, products. But nonetheless, for the Lysol, it states that it will sanitize in 30 seconds, but disinfect in 10 seconds. So pay attention to the time it takes to sanitize and to disinfect. Two entirely different things. I'll talk more about that in a second. Okay, and then Kirkland brand takes 15 seconds to sanitize and three minutes to I, dis I think it's misleading to have this information here kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria in so many seconds and to have it in a larger font here. Most people probably don't read the fine or finer print. Now it is up to the consumer to read the instructions, but it's just, it's misleading because um, if you only read that, you wouldn't know that in order to truly disinfect, not sanitize, but to disinfect and kill the amount of viruses or bacteria this was intended to kill, you have to use it for the amount of time it takes to disinfect. So once again, read the instructions, but read it in its entirety to maximize the effectiveness of this product. Overall, to sanitize, it seems like Clorox will sanitize the quickest, which is 10 seconds. But in my opinion, talking about seconds, it's all the same thing, right? As far as disinfecting, Kirkland, Costco brand, takes three minutes to disinfect. And these two brands takes four minutes. And then Lysol takes 10 minutes. And keep in mind, once again, this is an older container of Lysol. The newer containers might take less time. Okay, so let's go ahead and read how to use Costco's sanitizing or disinfecting wipes, which is pretty much the same for the other three brands. But let's see here directions for use. I'm not going to read everything. I do recommend that you read the label for your own particular brand, but it states here cleaning and deodorizing because those and disinfecting, those are different things. So it says to sanitize non-food contact surfaces. So it's talking about surfaces that's that don't come in contact with any food. It says use a wipe to remove heavy soil. So you may need to pre-clean and you could use a wipe to pre-clean, um, but it states to unfold a clean wipe and thoroughly wet surface. That's a key word, wet, thoroughly wet the surface. Okay, treated surface must remain visibly wet for 15 seconds. I didn't know that, right? I didn't know there was a certain time um, a surface had to remain visibly wet, which means you should see the wetness on that surface. Okay, remember we are sanitizing. And let me give the difference between sanitize and disinfect. Sanitize means to remove dirt. Disinfect means to kill germs okay so to sanitize it needs to be visibly wet for 15 seconds and it states to use additional wipes if needed to assure continuous 15 second wet contact time and let air dry very important 
the surface must air dry. I'll talk more about that a little later. So that's to sanitize non-food contact surfaces. Now to disinfect, and that's what we all want to do, right? Because disinfecting is what's going to kill those hard-to-kill allergens and bacteria, germs, and viruses. So it states as well, use a wipe to remove heavy soil, unclean, Unfold a clean wipe and thoroughly wet surface. Treated surface must remain visibly wet for a full three minutes. So to disinfect, the surface must remain wet for three minutes. How many of you did not know that? <laughs> okay, use additional wipes if needed to assure continuous three-minute wet contact time. And then it states, a through rinse with potable water is required for surfaces and direct contact for food. So I kind of find it contradictory. They all say that. It states sanitize non-food contact surface, right? But then down here it states if it comes in contact with food, use potable water. Potable water is basically clean water. So if you are going to disinfect and i'm going to say sanitize too using or disinfect with these wipes make sure that you use clean water to rinse off that surface before it has contact with any any so type i'm of food. confused about the non-food surface so it's giving directions to sanitize non-food surfaces so it don't give directions to sanitize food surfaces right but to disinfect, it states that if you disinfect, I guess, a food surface, you need to clean with potable water. I'm thinking you're not supposed to use these items on, well, I don't know, you guys, because on one of these packages, no, one of the experts stated to use these wipes if you work with raw meat, right? So I don't know. Follow the instructions. I don't know if you guys understand my confusion. It would seem to me not to use these wipes on products or surfaces that come into contact with food. But if you do use these wipes on food surfaces, make sure you do a thorough cleaning with water. I would say after it disinfects, why not use soap too? But I'm not an expert. So I'm a little confused about that. But you don't have to be confused. Just make sure you read the instructions and follow the okay, instructions. Let's get started with our cleaning experiment. Let's see what type of items we can, or surfaces that we can sanitize and disinfect. So Sam's Club's wipes states tub and shower walls, telephone, stovetop, doorknob, kitchen countertops, faucet and sink, exterior toilet bowl surfaces, non-wooden outdoor patio furniture, except cushions and wood frames. Okay, and then let's see what Costco states. Toilet seats and showers, phones, changing tables. Now, it also states to, and let me see if I can quickly find it, it says to use these wipes on hard, non-porous surfaces. Non-porous means basically a smooth surface, but you do want to read the directions in its entirety because there are some surfaces these wipes are not recommended for. Now, these two clearly state bleach-free. But I can't find where this says bleach free. It could be, I just don't know. Remember, this is an older um, package. And I also couldn't find where it says bleach free on the Kirkland wipes. Now, I do see an expiration date for Kirkland. It says, I think, November 2020. Well, there's definitely a 2020, which is this year, right? Um, Wow, I don't think I've seen any other expiration dates on these. Now, once again, my Lysol is at least two, if not three years or more. Okay, here's a lot number here. 
Okay, I'm thinking we could use Costco's wipes way past the expiration date, but I don't know, right? Not if we're going to follow have them all. Okay, so let's get into some quick do's and don'ts. And I'm also going to have do's and don'ts in my description box that you can copy and paste and read at your leisure. Okay, the do's. Read instructions, right, in its entirety. Clean first if you're working with a soiled area and then use a wipe to either sanitize and or disinfect. Do water rinse if you're cleaning or disinfecting or sanitizing a surface that comes into contact with food. You want to use clean water. I would say it wouldn't hurt to use soap as well if you can. Do use a timer if you are disinfecting. Let air dry and don't touch it while it's air drying. Use these wipes on hard surfaces. Once again, you want to read the label for the list of surfaces you cannot use these wipes on. You want to keep the surface area continuously wet the entire time the surface is either sanitizing or disinfecting. And you also want to make sure you close your lid tightly, right? You do not want these to dry out. Okay, some of the don'ts. Don't use your wipe until it's completely dried out. It's then ineffective. Don't use the same wipe on different surfaces. Use as many wipes as you need to keep the surface continuously wet for the specified amount of time. Use your wipes in one direction that comes from a expert. Um, don't overuse these wipes. Okay, so I've been reading articles, right? And one, and I'm going to try to list these articles that I'm referring to. But one expert stated, don't overuse the wipes. But the expert didn't go into detail why. The expert did state, though, if you overuse the wipes, it could lead to, I think, superbugs. So I looked up what superbugs means. And basically what it means is, when, like for instance, if you take too many antibiotics, your body can become immune or uh, I can't think of the other word I want to think of. So I'll just say your body won't react or respond any longer to antibiotics. So your body will render the antibiotic ineffective. If you overuse these wipes, maybe the germs you're trying to kill will become resistant. I don't know what that means. I don't know what overuse means. That's subjective. So I don't know. But just keep that in mind. It might be a good idea, and I do this too, to switch up. I use wipes, and then I use a a um, a cleaner, a liquid disinfectant or cleaner. So you could switch up too. Um, but I couldn't find any other articles. Now, I didn't search the whole entire web. But I couldn't find any other information that talks about superbugs in relations to um, using disinfectant wipes. So you guys could do your own research as well. Okay, uh, use only one way. I think I said that already. Don't overuse. Don't wipe. I think I said this too, but I'll say it again. Don't dry the wipe out wiping down surfaces. Your wipe should be a little wet after you use it. Um, you don't want to use this on your skin, right? No, no, no. It's not for the skin. And I'm saying you probably don't want to add water to it because it will reduce its effectiveness. Kind of just makes sense to me, but I don't know. I'm not an expert. I'm just a user, right? Okay, don't flush these down the toilet. You will back up your toilet. Don't use these as baby wipes. They're not baby wipes and they're not personal wipes. These are disinfecting wipes. And um, don't reuse the wipe if I already said that. And you know what? I'm sure, you guys, there's a lot of other do's and don'ts. If you guys have any that you want to share, please leave it below. I hope this video is informative and beneficial. 
since we all want to stay germ free, right? If that's the case, then we have to know how to appropriately use these products. Okay, if you guys like this video, why not like it? Give me a big thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe and share this video. This is good information for all of us. And you guys do come back because, well, I got a video where I'm going to share many different ways or surfaces that you might not think of. In my opinion, there are common surfaces where you can perhaps use these items to disinfect those surfaces. But you have to come back for that. Video. Okay, so I'm going to end part one right now. But you have to come back and watch part two and see these wipes in action. <laughs> because we are going to um, sanitize and disinfect. And I'm also going to do an experiment, right, with these wipes to see which wipes are wetter. Since we know that um, wetness is a key in sanitizing and disinfecting. So I got a little bit of an experiment going on, but you have to come watch to find out. Now, if you like this video, why not like it, support it, give me a big thumbs up. Also share this video. Hey, you guys, we're all in the same boat. We all want to be germ free, right? So this is some good information that you need to get out there. Feel free to share the video. Also subscribe because, well, more videos like this just may come your way. All right, you guys, I want to thank you all for watching. As always, blessings.